All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Black Ops 4 has just released a brand new summer DLC update. We're going to check it out. There's a lot of controversy going around in the interwebs. And um, I will give my opinion at the end of this video or probably towards this middle beginning and ending of this video. I, that made no sense. I'm a little triggered, but I'm not going to jump into conclusions until I see everything here. We're going to go to the black market and um, we have all of our new tier contraband, etc. stuff. So I'm going to buy all 50 tiers. Here we go. Redeeming all tiers. 40 remaining, 30 remaining. Um, for those of you that don't know, there's two weapons that you can unlock via the tiers, 25 and tier 50. And then the other ones are all unlocked through the uh, reserves. So Operation Spectrizing Event Days of Summer completed. You may still activate special orders, progress tiers. Be sure to visit. Okay. So, all right. Nice. All right. Looking for something to before, before we do that. I want to see what I got. The thing about tier 25 and 50 is you get new weapons, but you can also get a Mark II weapon variant instead. So that's also like it just reduces the chances of you getting these new weapons. OK, which I don't know why they keep doing this shit. But hey, who am I to say anything? So we have old crab. We have the uh, soul paint for uh, ruin. We got a uh, pop and a locket. OK. <laughs> The cardboard knights we also have the jolly uh jolly roger for the jump pack which can only be used in blackout mission failed um gridlock hotel i heard that there's no weapon camos beachhead calling card sticker popsicles tourist strap specialist outfits okay i mean i, mean, I guess fits the theme right summer vibes summer vibes these are i'm gonna be showing the uh rewards here as we go you cannot get there is no weapon camos in this these 50 tiers which is really a big letdown that's literally what you see the most in the game the frogman epic specialist outfit okay that's actually pretty sick that's actually really cool not gonna lie okay just saying i'm probably gonna equip that cocktail the uh sticker uh, hotel slums cocktail sticker uh calling cards spray and pray uh sticker hotel hacienda which is the map the gesture bandits okay that's okay it's kind of cringe uh fresh catch calling card tactical floats sticker the sunset hotel sticker oh dude so many stickers man calling card cheers a weapon bribe okay so this is the thing 25 we have a weapon bribe and this pretty much says guaranteed no dupe range or mk2 weapon from a reserve okay i'm gonna get this on weapon bribe please give me something good here we go Oh my fucking lord. Only the best for the best. I got out of everything. I got the ballistic knife out of all the brand new weapons that were available. Did I really just get a fucking ballistic knife? I mean, you have the locust, you have which which just did, did come back indeed as a matter of fact from BO3. Um you have the peacekeeper. You have so many things, but out of everything, do I really just get the fucking ballistic knife, dude. Okay, we got some more reserves. Sarah Hall. Okay, I'm gonna open these reserves and see what what I get. See if I get anything interesting at all. And here's your reset. Let's see. Wow. I need a new weapon. Damn it! That's a duplicate. I don't want fucking duplicates. Yeah, I have a lot of these. Appreciate your custom. Yep, I just love how you get dupes. And, uh, and mind you, I, I barely have been playing this game, and I'm getting dupes. The lionfish sticker, the tell no tales calling card, the gallon sticker, the jellyfish sticker. We also have a legendary cuttlefish specialist outfit for Spectre, which actually looks pretty crazy. Um, the anchor sticker, the Safara specialist outfit for Outrider, cuttlefish sticker, treasure chest calling card, Barracuda for damn, that looks nice. I'm not gonna lie, some of these are pretty cool, but a lot of why why are we having so many damn stickers, man? Makes no sense. Gesture, the Rolly, the Jolly Roger. <laughs> so stupid. The octopus sticker, the dark sail specialist outfit for zero. That one looks nice. That actually looks really nice. And then we got nine more here to go. Crack and attack, sticker, lobster, skull hideout. Great white. I'm only interested in like the gestures. I mean, not the just the outfits, even though you can't even see them. Uh, but it's more it's more appealing than having a sticker or a calling card. Like I don't give a crap about that. That's also pretty cool. Polly want a cracker? Polly want your mama's sweet ass. Uh, Rainbow's death effects. Okay. 
and then we have the Vendetta. Alright, so this is the new summer DLC update, and I'm going to be bringing gameplay of the new grind map, which is also in the game, which is free, which is the really cool thing about this update. We have a free brand new map, or not a really brand new map, but grind is just as good as any map, if not better than most maps. Um, so it was cool that that's free, but then you have this 50 tier update here, and I, I feel like 69, 70, 75% of these tiers are just stickers and bullcrap. Not even one single weapon camel, which is literally what you look at the most. Tier 25, which is supposed to be your luck at getting an extra additional weapon out of all the brand new weapons, gives you a weapon bribe that, okay, doesn't give you dupes, but it does give you the possibility to get, you know, a Mark II weapon. Luckily for me, I was able to get the ballistic knife, which is probably the worst out of all the weapons that just got released, but there are literally going to be some people that are going to open this and are going to get a Mark II weapon variant instead of a brand new weapon, which is... It's a really shitty business practice, honestly. In addition to that, then the other one is the tier 50, which there you can get another new weapon that just came out. I got the Vendetta Sniper. It's a semi-auto sniper rifle, fastest firing in class with a larger ammo pool, and it eliminates enemies in three shots. If we go to the new sniper, we're going to pretty much see the attachments that it has. So the optics, you can take out the big optic that it has. You can also put iron sights, which is cool, I guess. And then uh, these are all the uh, external attachments that you can put. Uh, the uh, sight loader reloads faster. The quick draw. Um, you have the grip. You have suppressor. You have the FMJ. Oh, that's a cool, nice little FMJ on the side. That's pretty cool. Then you have the extender mags. And then you have, of course, the uh, stock too. And this right here is what the bipod looks like. This is what the weapon looks like with some camos. It's pretty sweet. Not too shabby. The gun is, uh, itself is actually not too bad. So I pretty much wanted to showcase all the 50 tier rewards that you guys can unlock in today's update in case you're contemplating on buying it for yourself or not. I also just wanted to say that it always feels like Call of Duty is doing the right thing at first when a new update drops. And um, I mean, they announced the patch notes and, you know, so many new weapons. Grind is back for free. And then you realize that, well, a lot of those weapons, only two of them are achievable through the tiers that you buy. 90% uh, of the tiers are stickers. Uh, no weapon camels in the tiers. Uh, one of the tiers is actually a weapon. The other one, you may not even get a weapon. You're just probably going to get a Mark II variant of a weapon. It's just a disaster when it comes to some of these decisions that they make. I wanted to come back to Call of Duty and bring some gameplay, and I'm going to do that on my next video. I want to check out Grind and stuff, but uh, I just want to say that something has to change, bro. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm not a developer, but as, as a fan, in my perspective, they, they just... I, it feels like they're just being very greedy. But then again, who am I to say anything? I'm just a gamer. I just play the game. Um, but I, I don't feel for myself because I can afford to get these things. I can afford to buy these things. I'm not saying it for myself. I'm saying it for you guys. I remember when I first started my channel, me buying a supply job was like a freaking stab in the ass. Like, I just couldn't do it. It's expensive. So when you're trying to get some of these things and then you get dupes on dupes on dupes, it's, you know, it's heartbreaking. So. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. I'll be back in a little bit with more videos for Call of Duty. As always, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. And uh, catch you later.